Okay, welcome to help. Welcome to uh, helpviavideo.com. Today, uh, I'm going to do a um, screen capture video on how to download and install and uh, create a screen capture video. So basically, I'm doing a video on how to do this, uh, so that you'll know how to do it yourself in order to help friends or family. Um, learn something on their computer you can make a video on how you did it so that they can copy it from their computer and and do the same or you can create a poker video that's a very popular thing right now where people play poker online uh, with a screen capture of them playing and then show their friends how they played specific hands to help them learn to play like them or not to play like them depending so I'm going to open up the uh, internet here to uh, I'm going to use my Mozilla and I'm going to go to this website here this is a free uh, screen capture um, software that you can install and uh, you can find you don't have to write this uh, here down or anything you can find it on helpviavideo.com on the home page a link to a free capture software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead of downloading, downloading the free screen capture I'm going to download the extension for Windows and then add it in along with a free video converter. That's what I want to do at this point. So I'm going to uh, download now and again and I'm going to click save I'm going to save it. Yeah, I'll save it uh, to my desktop. I'd click save here. So now I have it downloaded. I've uh, I've placed it in my downloads folder. Okay, you can see it here and I'm going to go ahead and install it now. I'm going to choose English. Accept the license agreement. And I'm going to change this name. I prefer, I mean, you're, you can leave it whatever you like, but I'm going to call it Screen Capture. I don't want to start this uh, every time Windows starts up. I'm not going to do a screen capture every time I restart my computer. Uh, it's only going to be, you know, on a, a certain occasions that I'm going to use this application. So why do I want it running in the background all the time? I don't, so I'm going to uncheck that. I do, however, want a shortcut to it on my desktop. I'm gonna. It takes a little time here to install, but I'm gonna let you see and watch how long it takes, so you'll know how long it should take on your computer. Okay, now as you see, I have this extensions shortcut here. It, it started up itself, and now I have to install the actual screen capture extension and I want to do the video converter extension. Again, you don't have to do the video converter. This is something I'm doing on the side for myself. I'm going to uh, choose to install and they are installing. Okay, it's uh, almost done downloading and installing the video converter extension. That's a little bit larger application compared to the screen capture extension. So it takes a little bit longer. It is now installing it. And they're both installed. So now I'm going to go to my new screen capture shortcut on the desktop. I'm going to double click that. I have the option for full screen, current window, one of the windows, 
or a region of the screen. So you could grab a, a square like so if you want to and record that region. Uh, I don't want to do the screenshot in this in this application. Screenshot is a just a, a picture of your screen. I want to do a movie of the screen showing the mouse movements and I also want the ability to have audio in my uh, movie so I'm going to use animation. I'm not going to put it send it via email. It's quite it's going to be quite a large file most often. So I'm going to make it a movie file. The default as you'll see here I click capture. The default is WMV Windows Media Video. And uh, I'm fine with that. It's a, it's usually a fairly good size. I know my computer can handle 10 frames per second, so I'm going to put 10 frames instead. Now these are these are all settings. I'm going to put my microphone on. These are all settings you'll want to mess around with. To uh, usually the standards will work fine, the settings that are already there, but you may want to alter these to suit what fits you best. Okay, so I'm going to make a test here. I'm going to call it test4 is going to be my file name of the recording that I make. Okay. So I'm going to replace one that's already called test4 in there. And we are now recording. Uh, I'm doing a screen capture right now. As you can see, that came up showing that it's recording. So you, when we play back the video, you'll see me opening up the browser, okay, going to various websites like helpviavideo.com and I have the ability to uh, you know do play the audio with it as well okay but you won't hear it when we play back my video because I have a headset on so it'll play back in my microphone but you won't hear it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video with control I could just right click here and press stop. But if you were or control F10 as you see. But what I want what I'm going to do is use control F10 instead so that you don't watch me stop the video. It just all of a sudden ends. Right? So there. Now the video is ended. We're going to now we're playing back the video. And I can hear my voice talking into my microphone. So the, I know that the recording worked. Let's see here I am opening up the browser. As you can see, I'm a terrible typer. As you see, there's... And here, here I am stopping the video. You'll see that it, it ends right around here because I did the control F10. there it is stops okay so as you can see that that is how you make a, uh, a video and a screen capture you install the screen that's how you install the screen capture software and how to make a video and you can also go to various websites but of course the most popular is youtube.com you can sign up for an account and after you've signed up and put in all your credentials, you can then upload a video file to the web for others to view. And I'll uh, be doing another, another video on how to do that at another time. Thank you for watching.